What's up everyone, it's Kadi with Money Vesting. So let's talk about PayPal and PayPal announcing of new CEO, which is going to go into effect on September 27th. Dan Schulmans is going to become a director. He's going to stay with the board until the end of this year and after which he's going to retire. And we are going to get a brand new, younger, uh, perhaps even more dynamic with more idea CEO that's going to take over the company. So again, I'm going to break down exactly everything you need to know about this transition what this means for the stock price, what are some of the things that I want to focus on really for PayPal, what I want them to be focusing on for the company as well. So as always, if you enjoy this video, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're just joining us for the first time, the link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining. Don't forget, I do post a lot of members-only private videos that you can also take advantage of with the link down below and we'd love to have you on board as a money vesting member. So this right here is going to be that announcement. By the way, before we get there, I uh, just want to quickly go over the investor update. We already know the company reported some good numbers, right? I mean, the stock price has been selling off because of two reasons. Number one, the active account declined a little bit. So if you come down further, you will be able to see the active accounts for the company right over here. So it's been coming down for the last two quarters. It's come down from 435 to 431. So that's 4 million users going down in the last two quarters. That's 2 million per quarter. So from 435 to 433 to 431, but engagement has been moving higher. So transaction per active account has gone from 51.4 to 54.7, growing by 12%. So we already know that the company's focus did shift a little bit, right? So they did have a plan of growing active accounts, of growing engagement, of growing TPA, all these different things. But in the middle of last year, I believe they kind of shifted that focus. They were like, you know what? We're not going to focus on active accounts anymore, but instead we're going to be focusing on engagement. And this right here is another really important metric that I feel like not a lot of folks or investors on Wall Street are focusing on. And that is the TPV to total payment volume, right? If they're able to do more TPV with fewer active accounts, that is higher engagement, right? So that means the people that are using PayPal are doing more engagement with the platform and 377 million dollars was that number 11 percent growth on a year-over-year -year basis for that total payment volume which obviously translates over to that overall revenue for the company which came in at 7.287 billion dollars uh, again quarter over quarter increasing and year-over-year -year was also up seven to eight percent uh, from same time last year now another thing that was really concerning about the company that apparently for wall street was the transaction take rate by the way guidance a very very strong eps expected to be growing at over 20 percent uh revenue also expected to grow in the sort of like 10 to 12 percent range 495 is going to be that eps and free cash flows of over five billion dollars and this was the guidance for say, third quarter 23 but if you come down the transaction take rate that was another sort of like a concerning piece for investors because it has been it's been flat or going down so this right here is actually going to be i don't know what happens if you come back down uh you'll notice that the transaction take rate and also the total take rate uh was declining a little bit right so it's gone from like two percent down to 1.94 percent so 0.06 percent decline and uh, the transaction take rate down from 1.86 to 1.74 percent so um so that's you know that's kind of like the the reasons as to why the stock price obviously sold off the way it did uh this right here is the announcement so alex chris is going to be the new incoming paypal ceo and he led the into a division for small business and self-employed folks for over uh well he's been at different roles uh in the company at different points in his career but more recently, he's been working with small and medium businesses and self-employed people. And he also oversaw the $12 billion acquisition of MailChimp. And Intuit, as we know, is one of the best software as a service companies out there. They run TurboTax, they run Credit Karma, they run QuickBooks, they run MailChimp, they run a lot of different applications that people use on an everyday basis. People, individuals, and businesses use on an everyday basis. He is going to take over uh, as CEO, effective September 27th. Um, and you know, the board basically mentioned that it could be a driver for shares to stabilize and Alex's experience in the SMB space and with acquiring and integrating assets will be key to PayPal's strategic objectives as well. Um, and again, this right here is the announcement. So Alex Chris named as a new PayPal CEO. He said, and I quote, I'm proud to take the baton from Dan and thrilled to have the opportunity to work with PayPal's talented and committed team to build on PayPal's remarkable history. 
and draw on its unique capabilities to deliver outstanding products and services to businesses and consumers as well. So PayPal stock was indeed higher on the day today. It was up a little bit over 2.8%, almost 3% um, on the day trading back over $63. And I think this is really what the market needed, some little bit of stabilization. Um, you know, there was a lot of uncertainty around the CEO. There was over nine candidates that they basically saw. Uh, so pool of nine candidates, the selection process began in February. So it's been going on for quite some time. And the board members said they were impressed by Chris's leadership at Intuit, particularly as he steered the company through its $12 billion acquisition of marketing platform, MailChimp. Now, as we know that PayPal was also in talks with acquiring Pinterest, which never really made sense. Um, from a company vision standpoint and that obviously resulted in the stock price selling off last year and it hasn't really recovered ever since you know market cap was well over uh, i believe over 200 maybe 250 billion dollars at one point during its lifetime and now of course it's trading at just under 70 billion dollars so it has obviously sold off quite aggressively still down over 80 percent from its all-time highs of well over $310. Now, this right here was certainly a very, very over overvalued price, no doubt about it. It was very, very overextended, and of course, it was trading at a, a super, super high level. Uh, but this right here is also, in my opinion at least, considered as a super cheap price. And you can see market sentiment goes both ways, right? You can see a lot of euphoria, you can see a lot of excitement, you can see a lot of greed on the way up, got overvalued here, but you can see a lot of fear, you can see a lot of, see, uh, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty around these prices where nobody wants to touch it with a 10-foot pole. And that's exactly what's going on at the moment. But I think with this new transition, with this new CEO, there is going to be a little bit of a change in the overall business focus. And that's exactly what I want to see. What I want to see now is for the company to once again start focusing on active accounts. This right here is really important metric. Um, maybe not, not as important as total payment volume because if you take a look at TPV, uh, that has continued to grow, right? 13%, 9%, 9%, 5%, 10%, 11%. Um, and then also the total transactions per active account has also been going higher, engagement's been going higher, but it would really help if the company can continue to grow active accounts as well, right? We went from 9%, 6%, 4%, 2%, 1% to literally negative growth on a on a year over year basis actually year over year we are still up from 429 to 431 million but again the growth rates really really slowed down so this right here again important metrics and that again is going to help the transaction take rate for the company over the long term kind of keep it above two percent um, and those were the main two concerns for why the stock price sold off so i think from a vision standpoint from a focus standpoint um, this should be the focus active accounts number of payment transactions total payment volume, transaction per active account, and the transaction take rate, and how they can achieve better and better numbers and continue to grow. And of course, a lot of the focus is going to be on potential acquisition um, targets as well, because again, you know, into a $12 billion MailChimp acquisition, that's really what uh, Alex oversaw. So PayPal also will have potentially some targets to look at maybe maybe SoFi, maybe some other companies in the fintech sector that they can potentially look at from an acquisition standpoint. Uh, that being said, I think Braintree, Venmo, PayPal checkout, there's still a lot of potential to be unlocked in those areas. Venmo obviously competing with Apple Pay, Zelle, peer-to-peer -peer payments um, in North America more specifically. And of course, we got Braintree for business checkout, fraud protection, accounting, all those different applications. That somewhat do compete with QuickBooks and some of the Intuit applications, uh, but PayPal obviously more global, has you know majority of the market share globally, but there is threat of competition, no doubt about it. Amazon Pay, Google Pay, Apple Pay, there's a lot of different payment processors out there now that are competing with PayPal. And PayPal's moat really was the first starter advantage, right? Being able to enter this industry when nobody was really doing this. Um, and at the same time, they've got the network effect. They've got a lot of merchants and individuals on their platform. Uh, and of course, they've got a strong brand reputation. In fact, I mentioned, right? So I recently switched from one of the other payment processors, which is a lesser known payment processor that's only operating in Southeast Asia to PayPal because PayPal is global. It's more reliable, safer, more efficient. So I have pretty much switched my entire sort of uh, business payment processing over to PayPal as well. So that is going to add to the uh, total payment volume uh, in the future quarters. But that being said, I mean, I think this is a, this is a 
a net net positive news for PayPal and we'll continue to kind of monitor how uh, this kind of shifts the overall company fundamentals and the business outlook and overall vision. Uh, I'm still going to wait for Alex Chris's first interview. Uh, and, you know, what he talks about with PayPal, of course, September 27th is when he's going to take over. So I don't expect anything before that. But I think this is on a net net basis. Good news, positive, gives, gives the company a little bit more stabilization. Uh, again, the vision and the focus still is yet to be seen and what is going to be put forward by Alex Chris. But support level is going to be staying put at 60. Resistance at those targets at 69 to $70. Uh, very, very oversold, obviously, at the moment. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about PayPal? Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you buying, selling, holding? Uh, it kind of see, it feels very similar to Meta. And I understand the, the fear and the uncertainty and the doubt around the company right now. But from a valuation standpoint, obviously, it seems uh, like a very, very cheap uh, price earnings multiple, very cheap earnings yield relative to the relative to the price right now that it's trading at. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Link to our Discord Patreon is going to be down below. Uh, don't forget there is a 16% annual discount available till the end of this month. As always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.